video is not sponsored by Naturalistas, I bought all the product myself. What's up doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties? As many of you already know, I take doll photos and make craft videos for Naturalistas on YouTube and Instagram. But being the doll collector and toy enthusiast that I am, I've been buying them for my personal collection and having a little fun. This is the doll Dana. We did a body swap onto a made to move body in our last Life on the Shelf video. We swapped the Naturalista Leah as well and twisted her hair. Renee Amore Animates on YouTube and Instagram removed the lettering on the front of the dress. Now, I don't know how it was done, but I kind of just start messing with it and I was able to peel some of it off. It took a minute, tweezers helped, but I might have rubbed some of the gold off. But I think it works. What about the blue dress? Caution, tweezers might snag the dress. I'm finding it easier to just kind of rub it off. This fabric definitely didn't appreciate what I was trying to do, but we got it done. And Paige just joined the party. Paige is from San Francisco. She's a chemist and has a line of natural hair care products. I think it's fun when the dolls have a little backstory. Her hair type is 3C. She wears a wash and go ponytail. I'm loving her face. Now her face looks a little different from the other two. I wanna say they all have a similar face sculpt. I could be wrong. And I think I am wrong. If you look at the space above their lip, it definitely looks different. I'm loving the rounded top lip, the eye shape. How do you look on face app? Ah, okay. Can you smile? Let's see. Smile. Yeah. Good to know she's face app compatible. Uh oh. It is possible to balance her to stand, which I think is pretty cool. Again, not sponsored. I really do like when I can balance a doll. She has lavender eyeshadow, brown eyes, a reddish brown lip color, silver colored earrings. There's glitter in the plastic and they are removable. Let's see if they're compatible with Barbie earrings. I place the doll in a plastic bag and then in hot water to soften the head and hopefully make it a little easier to pull out the earring. Trim off the hook to make the earrings easier to remove while keeping a longer post. Add the new earrings. It's a little tighter, but yeah, we got it. Giving her some shiny earrings. She comes wearing a silver glittery dress with a side cutout. It's long sleeve, has naturalistas across the chest. She has a pink purse and pink shoes. This fabric feels similar to Dana's gold dress. So I'm kind of confident that I can just remove the letters. This does take a minute. It does not want to be removed, but I have lots of patience. In the meantime, over the summer, Barbie Model Mayhem and friends on Instagram hosted Glass Dollberry 22 Music Festival. This is some of the merch from UK Barbie Girl. Let me just say, I think this is genius. Having a doll community event and then having merch to go with it in your Etsy shop? I even got a shirt from my favorite Dollstagram band. Blink again. VIP baby. We have shirts of different sizes. It is sewn in the back. I just slipped it over my head. It's stitched around the collar, bottom of the sleeves, and at the bottom of the shirt. I'm totally fangirling right now. I have a Blink Again t-shirt. Thank you, Mini Toya, for the little distraction. The dress looks pretty good. I don't think you can tell there was anything there, and it's sparkly. I bought this doll online from Target. It was $12.99. I also picked up Kelsey, a talented fashion designer with 4B hair, styled in a blowout. Her hair is really soft. My doll has some length, 
I did brush it out a little. This doll has a rounded top lip. I love that. She has a soft peachy eye color, rosy cheeks, a reddish lip, earrings. She wears a one shoulder crop top. It has a little puff sleeve to it, a cuff at the bottom, matching pants. There is no closure in the back. They just slide up. They are fitted at the ankle and she wears flesh tone heels. She comes with a white crossbody bag that says Naturalistas. The strap releases on the side, making it easier to get on and off the doll. Yo, I'm kind of loving these two. I love that rounded lip and Kelsey's soft eye makeup. This doll line is all about a celebration of natural coils, curls, and crowns. We can have a blast with hair play, giving them different styles, and embrace the beauty of natural hair. Like these two Walmart exclusives. From the Pixie Puff Collection, a celebration of short hair and chic style. This is Penny. She's a student and a multidiscipline artist. She has 4C hair and wears it in an afro puff. Her hair is pulled back with an elastic. She wears silver colored hoops. I'm loving the eye makeup. There's a very light shimmer on the eye and then it's pink. She has a rounded lip. She wears a long sleeve tie dye purple top. It says naturalistas. I'm gonna leave that one there cause I think it looks good. She has matching shorts. The shirt opens with Velcro in the back and the shorts are elastic. I'm loving this outfit. I'm kind of partial to a casual look and I love tie dye. She wears pink quilted wedges and comes with a pink sling bag. Here's Petey, a straight A student and aspiring media mogul. She has 4C hair styled in a parted afro. She has soft pink eyeshadow, a nice deep lip color. There's a little butterfly clip in her hair. She wears a lavender two-piece outfit, a sleeveless crop top that says naturalistas, and a matching fitted skirt. She also comes with a sling bag and a pair of lavender sneakers with painted soles. She wears a small earring. Okay, so with these two, we get new shoe designs. These dolls do have the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. While I was at Walmart, I found Grace. The influencer deluxe set with protective style play. Do her arms move? Yeah! This doll has articulation at the elbow. She has a little pixie cut with painted hair. The hair on top is a cap. It is glued down. She has hoop earrings, lavender eyeshadow, a glossy lip. She comes wearing a pink crop top with long sleeves that balloon at the bottom. I like the collar and the cuffs on the bottom of the sleeves. She has pink pants similar to Kelsey's and a similar purse and flesh tone heels. She comes with a straight wig that we can just apply onto the doll to change her hairstyle. She comes with a second wig that has braids. Personally, I'm digging the shorter look. Since she is an influencer, they gave her some fun accessories like this little ring light. It stands around seven inches tall. She has a little cell phone with the Naturalista N on the back. I think I can place it into the ring light. Ah, oh, that is cool. And she has a gray laptop with Naturalistas on the screen and a little drop down menu. That's a fun detail. I love when dolls come with fun technology. The ring light is definitely a keeper in my opinion. And I like the computer because I always like the computers. And fashion packs. Oops, and I forgot Grace comes with sunglasses. I was reminded because the coffee casual fashion pack also comes with sunglasses and a cell phone. I bought these online from Target and Walmart for about $9.99 each. I did see them recently in the store. It was a Walmart. I was just shopping for parachute pants online today. I don't know if these qualify, but they're pretty close. Okay, I am loving the color of this outfit. It's like a gray khaki with a hint of brown. The top is crop, it's one shoulder. 
The pants are loose fit, they have an elastic waistband, faux pockets, one pocket is higher than the other, she has a pink plastic bag with gold painted details, it says Naturalistas Los Angeles USA, the bag is open so we can put items inside, the pants are gathered at the bottom, we have the sneakers in pink, it comes with a cell phone, and a Naturalistas coffee cup. It's made of a hard plastic, and it's hollow on the bottom. I think that's a cute look. Since Dana is on a made-to-move body, let's try the outfit on her. It's a good fit. I can get the Velcro over that far in the back. I can put the shoes on my Barbie, but they are a little loose. Might want to use socks. My Barbie can fit the glasses. I would say it's pretty compatible. So I have no problem giving these dolls made to move bodies cause I'm confident they'll still fit the clothes. In fact, let's give Penny a made to move body. I thought she was a good match for the AA soccer player, but here is the green yoga doll and it's not a perfect match either. But I'm thinking that it might be closer than the soccer player. Let's go ahead and give it a try. <clears throat> Off with their heads. I placed the dolls head first into hot water in a plastic bag to soften them so they can be removed. Naturalistas have pretty hard heads, so I have to work quickly, but we got it on and the skin tone is totally off. Here's the soccer player. It's still not a perfect match, but we're just gonna go with it. Her clothes still fit. However, the shoes, not so much, since naturalistas have larger feet. Here are the shoes on a curvy Barbie. The sneakers do fit a little better on a curvy. Here is Leah's blue dress on a rainbow high doll. It fits perfect at the waist, but it's a little long at the top. The coffee casual fashion pack gives me similar results. See there? We have just a little too much room over the shoulder. Here it is on an Integrity Toys doll. This is a new face doll and the fit looks pretty good. She can also fit the shoes. However, the heels are still a little big, but I think you can get away with it. Petey looks like a good match for the blue dye made to move yoga Barbie. Isa, you don't mind if we do a little switcheroo, do you? But I'm on the shelf. Relax, I have a replacement body coming for you. While they're in surgery, it looks like there are mainly three skin tones. You got your chocolate, milk chocolate, and caramel frappuccino. So if you wanna keep a naturalista body but gain a little more articulation, Paige, Dana, and Petey look like they all match Grace. I'm gonna put Paige on Grace's body since they look pretty similar so I can get that elbow articulation on a doll with rooted hair. I took her ponytail out and wow, she's got some hair. Let's trim it a little for a curly fro. All right, Paige. Here is Petey on her new body. It's a pretty good match. I am attempting to French braid the top of her hair. Then I put the back into a low ponytail I really need to get black rubber bands. I switch out her earrings to give her a new look to wear around campus. Here is the wash day fashion pack. I love the idea of this one so much. I picked up two. Now you do wanna be careful when unboxing this one. There's a lot of little plastic stays. We get a fuzzy robe, it's really soft. Looks like there's some darts in the back. Could I use this as a fur coat? It does have the Naturalista N on one side. Sorry about my nails, doing hair. Yeah, it's not great for the manicure. It has a belt sewn in. We can tie it in the front. There's a hair wrap giving us a very spa look here. It has a gold colored hairbrush, a gold color mirror that's pretty reflective, and slippers for a Naturalista doll. The slippers may not fit every doll, but I think the robe is pretty universal. Here is the Culture Awards fashion pack. I had to try the dress on my Integrity toy doll. It fits decent, it's just a little large in the hips. 
Here it is on the made to move body. It's still a little large in the hips. It's a silver mermaid dress with glitter. There are cutouts on the sides. The naturalista in at the top, which we can remove if we choose. It comes with a mask, purse, and heels. I think it's a pretty classy dress and will look great at a Dollstagram party. Here it is on a rainbow high doll. It's still a little long in the top, but it's a good fit at the hip. With a little tailoring, we can get a perfect fit. And here it is on Paige on Grace's body. Very glam. Overall, Petey is my favorite. I love the neutral makeup, and she's a pretty close match on the made to move body. While I was at Walmart, I picked up these hair amazing swim dolls. They were $4.49 and come with a fabric bathing suit. Their packaging can be turned into a surfboard. This doll looks like a curvy. Here's the swimsuit on a curvy made to move Barbie body. Yeah, I put a brat's head on it. It is pulling a little cause Barbie has a longer torso. Here it is on a naturalista and a classic Barbie body. This is the orange hair amazing swimsuit. Oh wow, look at that. It's a great fit on a naturalista. And a classic Barbie body. Okay then, I'm gonna keep an eye out for the green one. So that's good to know. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Naturalistas, checked out a few fashion packs, saw if hair amazing swimsuits can fit other dolls, and showed off our t-shirt from UK Barbie Girl on Instagram for Blink Again, which is Barbie Bottle Mayhem's band on Instagram. Did I say that right? I hope so. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of my froggy stuff. And we will see you next time.